Today, I'm going to share with you a simple and effective skincare routine that you can amp up based on your skin's needs. So the first thing I need to do is take off some makeup. I'm using my Scandinavia makeup remover spray. There was a time that I actually thought that washing my face was the same as removing my makeup. And if you're like, what? wait, what? Then this is a perfect video for you. So makeup removers are actually designed to break down the makeup on the face to make it easier to remove. But they're only designed to remove the makeup from your skin. Facial cleansers, on the other hand, help remove dirt, sweat, sebum, all those things that can clog up your pores. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's start with the basic skincare steps. The basic steps for skincare are really easy. Cleansing, moisturizing, and applying sunscreen. Once you get the basic steps down, then you can add extra things based on your skin's individual needs. Now I'm gonna add some extra steps as we go, but remember, the steps are easy. Step one, cleanse the skin. I'm using the Naturium Niacinamide Facial Cleansing Jelly. When I do this, I like to wash my face, my neck, and my decolletage. That way, everything's clean and prepped and ready for the next step. Now that the skin is clean, we're going to move on to toning. If you're only interested in the basic steps, please go to minute 515. Now tell the truth, when you think of toners, do you think of something harsh that dries the skin? I use this alcohol-free one by Thayer's. It's perfect for dry and sensitive skin. And all you do is apply it to your face, avoiding the eye area, and allow it to dry. This does not get rinsed off. Toning is an important step. It helps close back up the pores. It also helps balance the skin's pH level. And it helps to prepare your skin for the next steps in your routine, such as your serums and your moisturizers. And that's exactly what I'm going to do next. I'm going to apply two different types of serums. Even if you're a very lazy skincare person like I am, I definitely recommend a vitamin C serum. Vitamin C serums are one of those wonderful things that works on like photo aging, dark spots, fine lines and wrinkles. And they're really one of my top picks for brightening the skin tone and just evening the skin out. The one that I'm using today is by Neostrata, and it's also got a PHA in it. PHA stands for polyhydroxy acid, a gentle exfoliant that helps remove dead skin cells, and it also helps enhance the penetration of the vitamin C. Like many things that I use, this was PR gifted. So the way it works is they send it to me, and I try it, and if I like it, then I get to pass it on to you. And if we're lucky, they give us a good discount code which thankfully they did with this one, and you've got 20% off with a link. And I'll place the links that I can for everything in the top pinned comment and in the description so you can find everything. And don't worry if you can't find it, just let me know. So let's continue on because I've got one more serum that I'm going to apply. The next serum is designed to target those dreaded number 11s in between your eyes, crow's feet, and even nasal label folds. Now, I've only been using this one for about two weeks now, but I'm really excited about it because it does a couple of things. First of all, it's full of peptides. Peptides, in a nutshell, are great for maintaining the structure and the firmness of the skin. But they also talk back and forth with the skin cells and signal to them to perform functions like repairing damage and producing more collagen. The peptide that's in this one is called argyroline, and it can mimic the effects of Botox by relaxing the facial muscles and even preventing the formation of expression lines. Now you see why I'm so excited, right? Now I've tried a couple of products that do this, and they're really amazing because when you put it on your forehead, you can actually feel that it relaxes the muscles. And for all of us big-time frowners, this is a great thing. And now let's move on to my eye cream, which is designed for puffy eyes. This is the Fix Caffeine Infused Coffee Eye Lift Cream. It helps to firm, tone, and depuff the under eye skin. It also hydrates and brightens the eye area and reduces the appearance of dark circles. Now here's my real thoughts on this. For me, it feels like a nicely hydrating cream that when it dries gives a little bit of firmness under my eyes. Does it make giant puffy eyes disappear? No. Does it suck up eye bags? No. Does it provide a little bit of help? 
Yes. Do I use it every day? Yes. If you have a question about any of the products that I use, please ask. I'll be very honest with you. I'd rather you ask about a product than sit around wondering. Now that my serums have soaked into my skin, I'm ready for my moisturizer. This one is by the Botanical Republic and it's called Replenish Antioxidant Moisturizer. Moisturizing helps hydrate and soften your skin as well as protect it from environmental damage. It also helps lock in the benefits of those serums. Now I like that this is natural and cruelty free, but I think what I like about it the most is that when you put it on, it is velvety smooth. It just glides across your face and then it feels really moisturized. But then after a few minutes, it soaks in so you're not left with like a greasy feel. It actually felt so good. I was just giving myself a little facial, hanging out with my besties on YouTube, having girlfriend time. Then I remembered we have to talk about our necks. Have you ever wondered why you need a different cream for your neck when you already have a moisturizer for your face? Well, the skin on your neck is thinner, drier, and more sensitive than the skin on your face. And it also has fewer oil glands and less collagen, which means it's more prone to dehydration, sagging, and wrinkling. Do you remember the vitamin C serum that I showed you? The one by Neostrata? Well, this is the Neostrata Neck Cream. And it's also 20% off with the link for a short time. Here's what it claims to do. Visibly diminish deep creases and crepey texture on the neck and decolletage. Improve the appearance of uneven skin tone and dark spots. Enhance the skin's elasticity and firmness. Now, I just recently started using this, so I'm not seeing a difference yet. But if you're curious about this, check back in with me and see how my progress is going. And of course, the final step in all of our skincare should be sunscreen. I'm using my absolute favorite Prime Pro Medic sunscreen. It is an SPF 40. It's transparent, so there's no white cast, so it's perfect for all of our skin tones. It won't clog pores, it's cruelty free, and it was designed for aging faces. One of the reasons that I personally love this is that I am a firm believer in applying sunscreen under your eyes and also on your eyelids. And I've tried so many different brands and everything kind of melts into my eyes and makes my eyes water. This does not do that to me and that's why it's my number one. What's the use in applying sunscreen to your face and protecting your face if you can't protect the most delicate parts around your eyes? Now I will say apply this very thinly because a little bit goes a long way. Then wait until it's dry and you can apply your makeup. For me, I don't need a primer after this. It serves as my primer as well. And that, my friends, is my basic skincare. Sometimes I think the only thing I really miss from my youth were those times when my girlfriends and I were in the bathroom together, getting ready to go on dates, and we were doing our skincare and our makeup together. Each one of us had our own products that we would readily share with the others, and we never minded asking, ooh, how do you do that? That looks so pretty. So this is the closest thing that I have to that, and I thank you so much for hanging out with me and for having a little girlfriend time, even if we aren't face to face. And don't even think about leaving until you've said hello. See you soon, beautiful.